Hey, what's going on YouTube? A Aaron here, back with another First Looks Eye video. We got the Tier 6 Scani, the uh, new Pan-European Destroyer line. Um, they're available in Early Access right now. Uh, you, the only way to get them is through the big European DD crates. You can get one free in the store, uh, at least you could yesterday, and then there's a few relatively inexpensive bundles. Just remember, it is gambling. Uh, we did a little crate video, and I think I actually... I, I'm not sure if I included the drop rates, but I, I will uh, when I'm putting this one up, so... Uh, every 20 crates you will unlock one of those ships, but it's tier 2 to tier 6. It took us like 30-some crates, and Wargaming gave me uh, 20 uh, just just to, you know, for free. So, But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the cap here. These are a mix uh, at the, the higher tiers. Um, not really the lower tiers, but at the higher tiers, these are a mix of gunboats slash torpedo boats. You have very fast, very low damage torpedoes. Uh, engine boost, heal, defensive AA all come stock. Uh, there's no switching. Uh, again, we'll show the, these at the end. Um, I'll link them in the timestamps below. But no smoke. So you need to be pretty careful about what you, uh, you know, the position you put yourself in. So we're going to try and get the cap here. Now, we're not really spotting for our team at the moment, which, as we mentioned in our Destroyer video, is your job. Number one is to get the caps. If you get the caps, you can win on points. Number two is to spot so your team can utilize island cover and so they don't have to, uh, you know, risk their HP. Now, there's a fine line between risking your HP and sitting in the back, and, and uh, I think we'll go over that in a separate video, but... We're going to get the cap here. We're going to push out maybe a little wide. Uh, we Like we said, we don't really want to be getting in any gunfights, especially with a Moss with Hydro. The Akatsuki we could beat up all day. But it looks like three ships spawned on the the left there at D, or the uh, east, I guess, if you're looking at the top of the map. I just I spawned looking this way, so that's the left to me. But I guess Blip and I have the same definition of, uh, <laughs> of going off of the map, but... Other people don't. So these torps are going to be pretty decent, um, you know, in combination with your guns. Um, but I, for the lower tiers, what is that? I have found that um, I haven't been getting that many floods. I play the tier 5 a bit. We're going to go ahead and open up here. Hopefully he turns in. Yeah, he looks like he's in turn. So 3.2 base reload on this one. Running a more torp focused build. Try and dodge any shells. Oh no. Too focused on our guns here. What is that? We got torpedoes going into the smoke, but... So the problem with these is you don't have that much health to play with, so when you are open water gunboating like this, it's, it can be difficult to, uh... Oh, that's the Bismarck. The Bismarck secondary. That's how it's done. See. Did we get the Ochakov? Okay, we got the Ochakov, which is the only radar cruiser on the board. Mephisto. We well, actually, we're gonna repair our rudder and be careful. Yeah. All right, he's down. Not the uh, most perfect execution, but we're alive. We still have three quarters of our health with one heal left, and we got the destroyer down. Now we're gonna sit behind this island cover and lob this Bismarck. We have torps on the way for the Flander. The flounder. Our team looks like they're doing their job on that flank, which is, this is honestly all you want out of out of a potential first look video and and a destroyer play. We talked about destroyer play uh, in another video, and this is this this is only adding on to off, on top of it. Uh, something I actually just now noticed is the Bismarck is not in the cap anymore, so it that means the Moss is here. So we were heading blindly in to to get position on this guy, and this Moss could be rushing us. So we need to get the heck out of here. Good news about these torpedoes is fully upgraded. They uh, have 12 kilometer range, which is pretty nice. Um, 
But like we said, they do very minimal damage, like 5,000, especially no against battleship torpedo belts. Ooh, a Belfast. Ah, we didn't guess the right location. They already used a damage con. He's shooting. So we can start cutting away. Burr engine, use our heal again. Yeah, he's gonna... His, his uh, guns are actually gonna do a lot more damage than I thought. If I could hit the target, it'd be nice. Okay, we got a torpid, looks like, on one of those far, far battleships. So just keep that in mind. The damage con should be running. Not the most, uh, <laughs> the most DPM here. Friesland with the worst reload, but uh, we're getting him. He's on fire. It looks like our team is shooting at him, which is all you really need and or want um, from your battleships. It might be a secondary, or it looks like it's actually a cruiser. We need a, we need a blind fire of that. Got him. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Both destroyers down, killed by us. Still have over half of our health. Uh, no heals left. We got one torpid on a battleship, one solo cap, and a few defends. We're going to move in behind these guys, and I think that's a perfect, perfect little first look video at this ship and how effective it can be at both launching torpedoes and hunting destroyers. Now, if you get neither of those, what I, I would define as true gunboats, the Moss is sort of a gunboat. It has those higher caliber guns with a slower reload though. So you need to be very, like I said, you need to be very cautious about who you choose to engage. Um, we also got maybe lucky in that those could have been maybe new players. I don't think, both of their concealments was not the best. Uh, let's we can go into open water here. Just score some cheeky damage. So if he turns around and tries to get a Sobo off, we'll turn into him. If not, we'll just keep Daka. The reason I do that, the overview camera, is so I can see what's coming, because there's a battleship back here. He's not looking at us. This battleship's actually... Oh, there it is. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. Okay. What are the odds this guy... Uh... What is this guy doing? Completely unconcerned that I'm here. No fires, though. Not a lot of damage, but again, we're two solo caps, we're doing our job. This should be a decent XP total. We're going to try and blind fire this guy. We might get one Torp. I thought he was going to go forward a little bit more. We're going to try and shoot to, uh, to secure. That should be two or three hits at least. One. See what I mean? Is he still on fire? Yeah, he's still on fire, so his damage con wasn't up, so that no flood on that. So two torpids, 50% flood so far. It looks like it hit the torpedo belt, and that is a tier 7 battleship, so... What's up, Tuna? Then again, as a destroyer player, I'm turning out here. We know we have the longer torpedo range. We're not necessarily worried about it. I'm gonna guess here, you have very fast torpedoes. Um... So that can, that can, uh, you know, with like a uh, Fletcher Torps, I try to lead them by about 13 years, you know. <laughs> We're going to go ahead and shoot this. Like I said, this, I may have gotten into a new player lobby. We don't know. 
Gonna stop and turn. Those look like they're gonna land short. Yeah, he, he, he drilled us pretty decent. Maybe not the best uh, ship to be open water gunboating with uh, a tier six destroyer with not the best health is uh, <laughs> is a Vanguard or a British battleship, but we should be all right. He's gonna hit us again. Oh, sweet dodge. Sweet, sweet victory. So it looks like he's going to burn a, a little bit more. Uh, hopefully he doesn't get, our teammates don't get too much of the damage. I don't think we're going to be able to cheese a Confederate metal out of this, but again, not every game needs to be a 500,000 Kraken to be able to be a, a replay on my channel. A lot of the CCs, including myself, are guilty of putting these high expectations out there, and I just want to give honest, decent, and fair reviews um, for a lot of the ships, but also for gameplay. Uh, a lot of people in the last update stream were like, wow, dude, uh, or, or, you know, like, devs need to put in, devs need to put in, uh, how-to guides, how-to guides. And I, I felt a little, uh, frustrated because my entire channel was started on, like, m you know, me going solo, and, and even though that has nothing to do with your indicator of uh, as because you know it's like my team did their job on the left that's the only reason we won this game so um, but it was me playing solo for a majority of the videos you know and showing people what to do because I was so tired of the obnoxious gameplay but once you reach that point I think you're kind of you're, you're you know going even further beyond for my Dragon Ball Z fans and that's when I met a lot of my my old clan mates. And um, that's when I started to become really focused on my gameplay. And you can only really do that to, to, to achieve that ultimate level in a division. So first on the board with 3,000 XP, a lot of that is the capture points and kills on destroyers. But again, doing your job, that's all you have to do. And these ships are very capable of doing that job. Only two torpedo hits, but 134 gun hits, two kills on destroyers, two defends, and two solo caps. Um, maybe not the, the best map, um, you know, for gunboating or whatever, there's a lot of islands, you know, you're not the quickest, but let's go over the stats. Uh, but at the same time, you need to be prepared for any map. I, I don't, you know, some people abandon their flank and they're like, well, I got a Kraken on the left side once, so I'm just going to sail over there from the right side. No, that's not how you do it. You know, you want to be able to play your ship from any spawn from any flank. Does Shard's B-spawn suck ass? It absolutely does. Well, let's look at the stats. 15,000 health, that is with Sims. Uh, we're going to go over the commander, but yeah, just keep that in mind. 10-7 range, 3 second, re 3.2 reload. So you can spec for guns and just have the decent torps as well, which is actually, maybe, I, I might actually try and do that because the guns are a little more viable than the torps, especially this tier, especially with only three of them. Um, and here we go, the torpedoes, 2 by 553s 55 second reload, so a very quick reload, max 7,000 damage. Um, I, I think... Uh, you know, words from my friends hurt more than that. So tor the torpedo detectability, 1.6, which is decent, 12 kilometer range, which is the upgraded torps, and 80 knot speed. You put sp Space Fishy and a few other, you know, there's a few builds you can run, which you get those even higher. Uh, AA defense is average at 50, which is pretty, well, it's it's average, but it's decent for a destroyer. Um, the Pan-Europeans are going to have that good AA, which is why, um, you know, they don't, one, one, they don't smoke, and two, you have that defensive AA consumable. Maneuverability, 36 knot speed, 610 meter circle, which is, it's kind of average, and then rudder shift is 3.2, which is decent. Not the best top speed or turning, but still, uh, you know, it's it's decent, uh, given the tier. I guess 600 is maybe a little bit better than, than a few, you know, the French or something, but... 5.3 detectability, and that is with, um, yeah, look at me now. We're not running Fragile Threat. You don't want to lose any more HP. Uh, so William Sims and Eric Bay. Uh, you could run probably a few other choices here, but these are just the, the top two that I needed. I want that concealment because you don't have smoke. I also wanted that health, again, because you don't have the health. So we're adding to the two things that we're rather, rather weak in. Uh, so we're running the new commander, Stig Hansen Eriksson. Five first names there, or five last names. Um, and uh, contact is intimate speed. We didn't choose this one because we don't want to lose anything extra for our guns, uh, just on the off chance that you do need them. Uh, torpedoes, I, I'm not the best at torpedoing, even though I'm probably better than most, but I, I find that people just don't make the decisions that I would make um, or that the torp, the torp tracker says. Like, you don't expect someone to sail in a straight line for the entire game. 
and yet they do. So I, I miss uh, a rack of torps. Um, and I also, I definitely don't stack torpedoes on top of each other. I try to spread them out. Um, and, and I don't know, but maybe I should start doing that. I get more torpits. Um, but for that reason, I don't choose, I did not, did not choose subsurface venture, uh, to decrease my reload time. Like we said, we didn't choose fragile threat to lose our health. Uh, we did choose back in stock. Uh, perceptive is nice. You know, if you're gunboating the Friesland, I would definitely take this, but back in stock, uh, we just want that torpedo because we're torp focused to be even lower. And then we've got sheltered arms. Uh, to decrease the incapacitation of our two guns and two torp tubes, um, which is what that does. So that is my build. That is the line. Uh, we do have, you can, like I said, they're available in early access, and the Oyster, Oyster Gotland is the tier 7, and it looks like a pretty gnarly ship. Uh, so, you know, a base 2.3 reload. So basically think of a Friesland with torps. Um, now, it does have less survivability. Ooh, 14,000. It's even lower than I thought. Um, you know, but with the engine or with the hull upgrade and sims, you could probably get that too. Hold on, does it say? Oh yeah, so you can get up to 15.8, and then maybe with sims, 16,000. So, you know, it won't have the worst HP, but it definitely won't be a lot, you know, so you need to be very careful how you play with it. Uh, and then the consumables, sorry. We've got the engine boost, the repair party, and the defensive AA. Uh, all of which are non-tradable. That's just what you get. Um, so be careful about which D-pad buttons you're pressing or whatever the PlayStation calls it. So, and then we're running the. It looks so ugly on the screen, but it actually looks all right in in the game. Uh, the European camouflage. So, that is the video, guys. That is the tier six. We got all of them except for uh, the tier two. Uh, we got pretty lucky with our crate video. So make sure you watch that if you haven't. That is the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it was informative. Hope it, you know you got a decent first look. This was like my this is my first game of the day, and I played two or three games last night. Um, I, I globaled my way to the XP there, so um, about five games in the ship total. But yeah, these are gonna be fun alternate gun lines uh, with good torps. I, I'd say before the tier six, they're pure torp boats because the reload on these ships is abysmal. But uh, the six and seven have pretty decent reloads for some some fast firing guns, so you can easily gunboat. Um, and the Friesland doesn't have any torps, so. <laughs> but yeah, um, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, comment down below. Hey, run out. Peace.